hey there welcome back to the channel my name is Osetale. if you are visiting our channel for the very first time you are especially welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome as well on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made a flea shot out of a scrap fabric if you want to see how i turned this to this then you definitely have to keep watching this video let's go welcome back guys this is the fabric we are going to be using to make this tutorial video and it's a fabric i got from a cloth i made for someone some time ago it was actually a mistake i made with the flay i think i cut it to be too short or too small so recently as i was going through my scrap fabric i saw it and i was like what can i make with this particular fabric and immediately an idea came to my head so i decided to film the process of me using it to make a flay shirt so guys let's get started the length of this flay is about 13 inches so it's about 13 inches and that's exactly the length i need by the time i add my 1.5 inch band then it's going to be perfect now the first thing i'm going to do is to cut out the crotch the front crotch so to do that i'm going to measure about eight inches sorry nine inches i'm going to measure nine inches and I'm going to mark it then I'm going to go in by two inches here you go in by two inches here then you do the same thing on this point you go in by two inches then you're just going to connect the dots guys after doing this you're going to use your curved roller to make a curve on this point so you're just going to cut this out after doing so guys this is the front crotch the front crotch the next I'm going to do is to go downwards by one inch I'll mark one inch here so I'm just Going to curve it just like this so guys after doing this um i'm just going to secure it with a pin just going to pin it down with a pin Now I'm going to fold the fabric into two. You see guys, I'm going to fold it into two. You can see there is no going to be any form of joining at the sides. You see, the joining is only going to be on the crotch area. So you can see the back is higher than the front with one inch. So you're going to make a dot here. And um, to get the waist circumference, you're going to minus like half inch. Then you're going to measure around your waist circumference divided by two plus one inch waist circumference divided by two plus extra one inch that one inch is going to be the zipper allowance so you're going to make a dot there now you're going to connect from that dot that point to these dots then you just cut it out open up this part and trim it a little bit so basically we are done cutting it now it's time to sew actually so this is the whole cutting there is nothing more nothing less so you see i have opened it up you can see um we're just going to mark the the wrong face this is the wrong face you're going to mark the wrong face now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine 
and i'm going to sew this part down i'm done doing that guys you can see this is what we have after stitching it down and i'm going to open it up for you guys to see it where you can see i've stitched it down For the back guys um before stitching i'm going to take the um waist circumference divided by two and i'm going to pin it down so the excess is for the zipper allowance i'm going to be measuring down about um eight inches which is going to be for the zip so this is for the zip so i'm going to stitch it down from this point downwards i'm done doing that guys so i'm done doing that you can see what we have now now the next step is for me to take these two points here these two i'm going to take these two fabrics here and i'm going to sew it down as well done stitching it down guys you can see now the next step is to put the band and i already have my band which i have already prepared i ironed hair stain to it in order to make it thick a little bit and the band is about two inches yes it's about two inches now what i'm going to be doing now is to take the band just the way it is like this and i'm going to take the fabric and i'm just going to um Put it together the right face facing each other and then i'm just going to sew it around it i'm done doing that you can see i'm done sewing the bound around the the, the the fabric so this is it now i'm just going to cut off the ss ss band So guys now the next step is to attach the zip and i'm going to be using an invisible zip so i'm just going to take it to the machine and do that guys you can see i'm done fixing the zip and it came out so neat if you want me to make a video on how to fix an invisible zip you can let me know in the comment section now the final step is for me to hem the down part so i'm just going to hem it and that is all for this video so guys this is the finished look this is the outcome you can see how the uh shirt is so nice it looks so i didn't even think it was going to come out this nice thank you guys for watching this video see you all in my next video bye bye